A new add-in to Simulation X enables you to calculate models in the background while continuing to work normally with the Simulation X GUI. To use the add-in, you will first need to download it from IESI. Once the add-in is downloaded, go to the Options menu of Simulation X and choose the tab Maintenance and Add-ins. There you can install the downloaded file. After installation, a panel will appear on the right-hand side of Simulation X. To simulate the current model using the simulation service, press Send Simulation Request in the Add-in window. This will add the simulation to a queue of jobs to be simulated. To simulate in parallel to the active Simulation X GUI, an additional Simulation X Analyzer Edition or Professional Edition license is required. Currently, up to three simulations can be calculated in parallel if sufficient licenses are available. If no additional licenses are available, the queue of jobs will be simulated once Simulation X is closed. When you send a simulation request, the current model is saved under a unique name in the same directory as the original model, and the simulation is started by a Simulation X instance in the background. You can continue working as usual and send additional simulation requests if needed. The add-in lets you track the state of each simulation request. The tab All Jobs shows all queued, active, and completed requests. The Active Jobs tab shows the simulations currently running, as well as their progress. The tab Finished Jobs also includes the tracing information of the completed simulations. When the simulation of a job is finished, the computed model can be opened in Simulation X directly from the add-in. ESI has created a method to reduce FEM and CFD models to be used in real-time calculations. The method uses proper generalized decomposition, or PGD for short, to create a reduced order model. The reduction method is available to customers within ESI's AdMore software. The resulting PGD reduced order models can be imported into Simulation X and connected to the remaining system model. The PGD Importer is an add-in that can be downloaded from IESI. It is then installed within the Maintenance and Add-ins tab of the Options menu of Simulation X. We will demonstrate the concept using a simple beam, although this reduction method is even more valuable with complex geometries that are difficult to represent in a 1D system model. To start, we modeled this beam in VBS which is ESI's FEM software, and carried out eight simulation runs, varying the forces in the X, Y, and Z directions between minus 50 and plus 50 kilonewtons. The displacements at the free end of the beam were recorded. The simulation results were then uploaded to Admore to generate the reduced order model. The resulting reduced model can be seen here in ESI Player. When changing the forces, the resulting displacements are still visible after the reduction process. Now we will import this model into Simulation X. To compare the results of the reduced model, we have built the same system in Simulation X. The top beam is not subjected to any forces and will stay stationary. The second beam is subjected to a downward force of 50 kN on the free end and will bend slightly downward. After simulating, we see the difference in results. The purple sphere attached to the beam under load has moved down 4 mm. Now we will import the PGD reduced beam model to compare. The force in the Z direction is selected as an input, and the displacement at the node at the free end of the beam, number 100006, chosen as an output. To make it a little bit clearer, we'll adjust the icon in Type Designer.
Then a force of 50 kilonewtons is also applied to the PGD beam, and the function block and sphere beside it transfer the results to the visualization in the 3D view. There we see that now the blue sphere, representing the end of the PGD beam, has also moved down 4 millimeters. Comparing the displacement results of the Simulation X beam and the PGD beam, we see an important difference. PGD models do not contain internal dynamic states, so the outputs will move immediately based on a change of the inputs. This is useful for some model order reduction tasks, but not all. Additional methods for importing reduced order models with internal states are in progress, and we encourage you to contact us for more information if you're interested in either of these reduction methods. Several improvements have been made to the result window functionality in Simulation X. Some of these improvements will be demonstrated using this model of a mobile crane with a hydromechanical telescopic system. In the past, when many result windows were open, it sometimes became difficult to find the particular diagram that you were looking for. In Simulation X 4.3, functionality has been added to find result windows. When using the right-click menu to plot result windows, if you press the shift key while hovering over a result variable, you'll notice that a magnifying glass appears. Pressing the result variable while holding down the shift key now searches for already open result windows containing that result variable, rather than creating a new result window. In addition, you can manually reorder the result windows and pages in the result window manager to have them in the order that you'd like. It's been possible for many years to change result window settings and to save specific result window formats. A minor update has been done so that these saved formats are automatically available within the result window menu, making it easy and quick to find and select them again. To demonstrate, we'll create a new format. Initially, only the default result window format is visible. I'll adjust the result window to be more suitable for presentations making the lines thicker and the text bigger. These changes can then be saved as a specific format. The next time I plot a result window, it will be very easy to switch to the presentation format via the menu. Four result-related changes have also been made in the COM interface. Each result window now has a unique name so that it can be referenced. The property PROT values is now writable, but only for frozen results. A new redraw method has been added using result window dot redraw. And a new unique window name parameter has been added for add functions.